How is it going everyone? Daxels here and today we're going to be reacting to US versus UK Papa John's Food Wars. Let's get straight into it. I'm expecting two things from this video. One, UK being overpriced as usual. Number two, the US have a lot of chemicals. Other than that, I have no clue. Let's get straight into it. From calorie count to portion sizes, we wanted to find out all the differences between US and UK Papa John's. Okay. This is Food Wars. Let's get into it. Portion size. Oh, obviously, America's portion size. In the UK, our sizes us. start at small. Again. Ours is 9.5 inches across, with a surface area of 71 square inches. Our small pizza is comes in at 10 inches, which is 78.5 square inches of pizza. Oh, okay. Next up, we have our medium pizza. It's 11.5 inches across, with a surface area of 103.8 square inches. Okay. Our large. 14 inches, which is 153.9 square inches. Jeez. Finally, for some reason we skip extra large and go straight to extra extra large. This one's 15.5 inches across of inch with go? a surface area of 188.7 square inches. We didn't skip the extra large. 16 <laughs> inches right here, that's 201 Jeez. square izzo's a pizzo. Our extra <laughs> large is bigger than your extra extra large. In your face, Damn. Harry. Um, okay. In the UK, a small cheese pizza will cost you $11.99, which is around $15.54. That's a price per square inch of 21.8 cents. Overpriced. Small in the US, $9.49, which is about 12 cents per square inch. Cheese. You know, like small, See? But apparently they're also doing small peppers with the small pizzas. Look how huh? small this is. Skimping on the peppers, eh, Papa? An XXL <laughs> cheese pizza in the UK will cost you around $23.32 which is a price of 12.3 cents per square inch. USA's extra large, $15.49. That cannot be right. Sprinkle a little math on that. That's 7.7 .7 cents per square inch. Jeez. That is so cheap. Why? So what we take away from this? UK's well, overpriced, again. The more again. pizza you buy, the cheaper it gets. In the US, the price per square inch of a small is 55% more than an extra large. And in the UK, it shoots up to a huge 77% more. I mean, it makes sense, right? I mean, that's how they get you. They pretty much are tricking you into getting more pizza because it's cheap per square inch. So you're going, oh, I'll just get the extra large instead. And then a year later, you're fat. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. Just a year? A deal. It is worth <laughs> noting that paying full price is kind of rare in the UK. We got like a 40% off deal because we spent a certain amount of money. Basically, if you're paying full price in the UK, you're really not getting the best value for money. I'm on their website right now, and it Earth. looks like, yeah, they have endless specials or deals for pretty much every combination you want to get. Large one-topping pizza, any two sides, two large pizzas. I'm assuming what Papa John's does is have all types of deals and codes and promotions that whatever you get when you order Papa John's is probably a deal for you. So you probably are never paying full price. Uh, I would say never. I would, I would say UK, probably some extra, extra large cheese pizza is cut into 12 slices. Each of these 12 slices is 268 calories, which brings the total to a whopping 3,218 calories. Jesus Christ. In the Christ. US, our extra large is cut into 10 slices. That means each slice is roughly 300 calories. And there is no possible way you're eating this pizza. Wait, that's less, sauce. right? Our extra large is 3,218 calories. In the US, what our extra are we large doing is different? cut into 10 slices. That means each slice is roughly 300 calories. And there is no possible way you're eating this pizza. This has just been a constant sauce. L for UK right now. US is smashing it. Calories, price, Ooh. gee. What about the most calorific thing on the menu? In the UK, it's a sausage and pepperoni pizza. Really? For an That's XXL it? XXL version of this pizza, each slice is 355 calories. That brings the total to 4,260. <laughs> In the U.S., if you're going for most calories, it's a tie between the meats pizza mm -hmm. and the pepperoni, sausage, and three cheese pizza. This used to be John's favorite. They changed the name. They took his name off of it when he left. I wonder what happened to that guy. Oh. Each pizza hey, is what happened to that guy? 410 calories per slice. And since it's 10 slices per pizza, that is a whopping 4,100 calories per pizza. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Ah! 4,100? What was the U.K. again? Excel version of 1,260. This happened to that guy. This is 10 slices per pizza. What? That is a whopping 4,100 calories per pizza. That's actually... Ah. So despite wow. the average pizza size is being smaller in the UK, the pizza Small. themselves are actually more calorific. Yeah. Who knew? 
Yo. Now, despite Papa John's motto being better ingredients, better pizza, mm. they don't actually make their full ingredients list available in the UK. We did reach out ah. to them to see if they'd make an exception for us, but at the time of shooting this, unfortunately, we hadn't heard back. Oh. Now, because we can't get the UK Papa Yikes. John's ingredients list, we're going to tweak this section a little bit. We're going to compare the US Papa John's ingredients to another very popular fast food pizza chain, Domino's. Oh, let's, get Domino's let's go! New ingredients on the screen. Okay. Now let's compare that with the Papa John's U.S. dough ingredients. Unbleached enriched wheat flour, water. I, I think it's going to be less. Sugar, it's got to be less. It can't yeast. be more. Can't be more. And that's it. Yes! How hilarious. <laughs> it's See, not going to be doesn't more. doesn't need to be a whole chemistry lab. Okay. That's cool, dude. got to give Papa cool, John's props. Yeah. That's really great. They say fresher ingredients and they make Yo, it. Yo, America's like, killed it in this one. Oh, it's exclusive now. This could change everything. everything you can only find this on the menu at a UK Papa John's. Everything. And these are all the USA exclusive items you can get at Papa John's. Let's start with the pizzas. Mm -hmm. So in front of me, I have three pizzas. And across these three, we've covered pretty much all of the items you can only find on the menu at a UK Papa John's. So okay. what I have right in front of me here is a pizza with a butternut squash base. Mm -hmm. Now, this is on the menu as a gluten-free alternative to traditional oh, dough. Why? Then the pizzas outside of that, as you can see, have a stuffed crust, which is just the classic crust, but then folded over and filled with a kind of cheesy garlicky mix, which is really, really good. Mm. This right here is a pizza consisting of only the toppings and crusts that you can get in the US. We have the Parmesan cheese, garlic mm. crusted crust, crusted crust. From there, you can also <laughs> customize the base sauce. So instead of the tomato sauce on this one, we have an Amarillo chili sauce. I was not aware of this until recently, but apparently at a Papa John's in the United States, you can substitute the tomato sauce for ranch. And I did exactly that. Why? Nothing more American than the ranch, ranch. Yeah. Papa John's in the UK actually has <laughs> quite a few vegetarian and vegan options. For example, again, on this pizza, instead of the classic mozzarella blend cheese, we have a vegan cheese, which is uh, cheese. a cheese alternative that's friendly for vegans. So in the UK, you can top your pizza <laughs> with anchovies, with tuna, with tandoori chicken, with spicy beef, and also some fake meat alternatives such as vegan pepperoni, and also a vegan sausage. Finally, we have a couple of vegetarian toppings. For example, on this pizza, we have some red chilies, and on this pizza, we have feta cheese and sweet corn. Cheese, we did do the Parmesan Romano and the three cheese blend, which is provolone, Jeez, Fontana, That doesn't look nice, Fontania, though. Fanta, whatever. None of these look and nice. Asiago cheeses, salami, Canadian bacon, the Philly, cheese steak stuff, spinach, <laughs> and also, of course, banana peppers. I don't know what it is with banana peppers. They're suddenly on everything. <laughs> I don't get it. All right. <sighs> Here we go. All right. Positive mental attitude. PMA. I'm about to have the USA only. Oh, no. I don't think it's going to be good. It can't be good. There's no way. Nah. He's not liking that. He's not liking that. There's no way. Yeah. <laughs> He's not liking that. <laughs> no way. No yeah, way. What? I wouldn't pick the ranch sauce. I would stick with tomato. Be not bad. Oh, Wait, is he dipping it in ranch sauce Why it's ranch sauce based? <laughs> yeah, none of the UK ones are going to be good. good. <laughs> no, none of them are going to be good. <laughs> Oh man, don't don't order this. Don't order the UK don't order. pizza. Yeah. Moving swiftly yeah. on from the UK. It looked, they pizza, sounded all bad. There are some sides you can only find on the menu at a UK Papa John's. We've got some vegan cauliflower wings. Uh, it's basically just small pieces of cauliflower that are breaded and fried, and then you can kind of dip them in a sauce of your choice. Cauliflower. Nice chicken wing alternative Ooh, for vegetarians. Why? Here we've got some chicken poppers. Now, I that's think these are available in the US, but the one that's exclusive to the UK is the tandoori chicken spice one, Ooh. which is just pieces of chicken breaded I, and fried with, with spice. an Indian spice blend. Here we got some tater tots, which I'm surprised you guys can't get in the US because these aren't really a thing in the UK. But here we can get tater tots. You can get them with cheese like we have here, or you can also get them with cheese and bacon. And then finally, again, surprising you don't have these in the US, these are some jalapeno poppers, just kind of mini jalapenos breaded, fried with some cheese inside. Now, I'm super excited to try these. These are Marmite scrolls. Uh, what it is is okay. kind of pieces of dough rolled up uh, with some cheese and some Marmite in the middle of them. Now, Joe, if you've never had Marmite, it sounds I gross. I love it or you hate it. <laughs> Harry, yes, I actually, in fact, have had Marmite. He's had it was Marmite. a while ago in college. I lived briefly with a British guy. Uh. He had a jar of it. I did try it once. I don't remember exactly how it tasted, but I do recall comparing it to the taste of vomit. So suffice to say, I'm a hated it. not fan of Marmite category. You either love it or so you hate it. Papa John's side what can game you do? is pretty strong. 
Now for wings, we have a honey chipotle oh. wing sauce. Okay. Garlic knots. Oh man. Greasy. Ugh. Dude, <laughs> this thing is drenched in their butter. I'm oh. confused by this next USA only thing. It is called a papadilla. I mean, it's a calzone. Oh. But for some reason, they're calling it a papadilla, which I assume is a playoff of quesadilla. Mm. Yeah, look. They just, it's just, it's just a pizza that they cut and fold it over, right? <laughs> Moving on. These look good. These look right up my alley. These are the uh, jalapeno popper rolls and mm -hmm. ranch. Forgot. You also got More breadsticks. Ranch. It's not American, but ranch. US exclusive sauces. Spicy garlic, yep, yep. ranch, of course. Yeah. <laughs> Honey mustard, <laughs> blue cheese. Where's the ranch count? Cheese. How many ranches and is that? You can also get big surprise uh, side ranch. banana peppers, oh. also side of jalapenos. And I was as surprised as anyone to see, also in the US, you can get these side what? of anchovies. Huh? Finally, for those of you with a sweet tooth, Papa John's in the UK has a few exclusive desserts. We have some chocolate scrolls on my right and mm. some cinnamon scrolls on my left. Mm. And then finally, we have some Ben & Jerry's. Papa John's in the UK is kind of like a Ben & Jerry's licensed vendor, which is oh, quite yeah. cool. And then also, we can get some milkshakes here, which are a brand called For Real, and they're not bad. And For desserts. Milkshakes. The one thing we got that you don't have, UK, no. cinnamon pull-aparts. Again, apologies, it's been time? sitting for a while. Dude. What is it? Yes, Deluge. I guess I'm not supposed to. I mean, I don't have to try everything, but I'm kind of curious, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, you do. Eat it all. Eat it all. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it's oh, what? <laughs> okay, that's good. That's good. UK just got totally destroyed, though, but that was good. Okay, everyone, that is the end of the video. If you enjoyed that video, make sure you check out the original description down below. Enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up. Comment if you'd like me to react to next. Subscribe if you're new or just haven't yet. I will see you in the next video. Laters.